Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to start off by saying I'm going to be a little busy next week since my classes start and I'll need some time to get settled into my routine and getting used to my schedule. So there may be a slight delay with my next upload. The gap will most probably not be more than a week long, but just letting you all know so you don't think I've randomly disappeared lol also good luck to everyone that has already started or will be starting school or college soon. If your classes are going to be in person, don't forget COVID is very much still a thing, and please stay safe out there. Anyway back to the series lol I can't believe we're already halfway through the BTS part of it. It really seems like y'all are enjoying it so far so I'm really happy with it. Thank you so much for all the support. Alright, now that I've concluded by blabbering, let's get on with the opinions. He ice and ugly. P to the E to the R to the I to the O to the D freaking period bitch. I don't know who needs to hear this but if you think he's ugly then literally please go get your eyes checked ASAP. I will never understand how people find him ugly at all I totally get that beauty is subjective but like imagine calling this man ugly. Lomeo what? Not a big fan of his music. That's fine. Everyone doesn't have to like everything. Like I always say, as long as you're respectfully expressing your dislike for something there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you ask me personally, I really enjoy his music. My boy deserves more appreciation. Period. Say it louder. For fuck's sake I am so freaking tired of seeing Hobby and Namjoon not getting nearly as much appreciation they deserve. It's high time. I will say though I have noticed Namjoon has been getting more attention these days. But I'm pretty sure that has to do with how much he's been working out lately if you catch my drift lol I really hope more armies open their eyes to see beyond looks and appreciate all the members for who they are as people. Namjoon is one of the best humans to ever exist. Freaking period bitch. Straight facts no printer. I really can't disagree with you there. Namjoon's visual is good. IDK if it's unpopular or not. Yeah I'm going to say it's pretty unpopular unfortunately, and I wholeheartedly agree with you. Again I literally cannot comprehend thinking this man is ugly. Like how, just how. Namjoon is not underrated PPL who don't know BTS definitely know Namjoon and when they see a couple of interviews they can identify Namjoon as he speaks the most. I definitely agree, Namjoon is not underrated and neither are any of the other members, but some of them including him are underappreciated. I think this is one of those things where people confuse underrated for underappreciated. Also, Namjoon speaks the most in interviews and is therefore recognized a lot, because uh, he is a leader and so that's part of his role in the group when it comes to stuff like interviews and public speaking, and b, if the interviewer is speaking English, Namjoon is the most fluent member so oftentimes the interviewer will directly communicate with him, and because he is translating back and forth throughout. He ends up speaking the most by default so it's kind of hard for people not to know him or recognize him when they see BTS interviews and stuff like that. So I don't think him speaking the most in interviews etc and being identified is necessarily related to him being underrated or underappreciated in any way. I know this ice the most unpopular but BTS wouldn't be there if it wasn't for him. Oh my god. Thank you so so much for saying this. Holy shit. This isn't unpopular in the sense that everyone is aware, but way too many people overlook this fact and don't really understand the meaning of it, and that is actually not okay. Guys, BTS would not freaking exist if it wasn't for this man. Take some time and let that sink in, dwell on it a little bit, and then please appreciate the shit out of Namjoon. Don't get me wrong, June is my bias but I still can't forgive the car he did even if it was years ago and even if he did apologize and never did car ever again. That is completely okay. No one should be forced to accept an apology no matter how sincere or elaborate it may have been. These are sensitive topics and everyone is affected by such things in different ways. He did do some really problematic things in the past. There's no denying that I really appreciate that you acknowledge that he has changed, apologized, and never repeated his mistakes since, even though you still can't forgive him. That is important. Namjoon's flow in rapping is perfect and amazing but I personally don't find his tone as amazing in comparison to Sugar and Hobby he is still an amazing rapper and leader though. That's totally fine, just like I said before, everyone doesn't have to like everything, 
We all prefer different things and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Love that you still appreciate his talents. His eyes are the prettiest eyes I ever saw. Like bro he has dragon eyes. But he is also really underrated and it's sad because he is one of the best leaders in the pop industry. Holy shit yes. Finally someone said it. Thank you. His dragon eyes really are absolutely gorgeous. Literally the prettiest eyes I ever saw. About the underrated thing. I explained my thoughts in a previous opinion. And about the leader thing I'm right there with you. Totally agree. He is hands down one of the best leaders in K-pop. Period. I have mixed thoughts about the whole Namjoon racist thing I am not black so I can't say much but yeah I know he apologized but if black people still dislike Namjoon cause of that, I don't blame them Namjoon is my third bias in BTS and it's sad that he said those things in the past. I totally agree with this opinion. I'm not black either and I realize it isn't my place to accept or decline Namjoon's apology or decide if it was adequate or not. If people that were directly impacted by his remarks and actions cannot accept his apology, that is more than okay and it is not the rest of our place to tell them to do otherwise. It really is sad that he said those things in the past, but I just greatly appreciate that he has genuinely taken time to educate himself and has never repeated those actions. I know BTS is very famous and no member is underrated, but Namjoon's talent, rapping, is not much talked about. I know Mono was a big hit but still, people talk about how he is the best leader, how wise he is and about his IQ, but I just think people don't talk much about how wonderful his rap is. Oh my god, you'll really read my mind with the Namjoon opinions, it's great to know my viewers and I think alike, you'll are big brains, I cannot stress how many things there are about him that deserve to be appreciated but aren't. The leader role and high IQ are talked about 24-7 and yes there are things worth appreciating, but he is so much more than his official position in the group and his IQ. Please appreciate his rapping and talents in general more. I love Namjoon with all my heart, but I prefer his old rapping style instead of his current one. I like the lyrics to Mono, however the pace and his rapping style isn't for me. Hopefully, he will come back with an album that can blow me away. LOL. This might sound as if I only like aggressive head hitting raps but that's not the case. I just think his voice suits his older style of rapping more. I totally see where you're coming from. And I actually think a lot of people feel that way. For me I switch between his older style songs and newer style songs depending on my mood. Sometimes I want a vibe to mono but at others I need some aggressive rapping so it just depends. But yeah I'm really excited for a future mixtape from him. I feel like we're going to get something we'd never expect from him and it's going to blow us all away. I think Namjoon is one of the only idols who have actually learned from his controversial past and has not. From what I have seen I'm not too up to date with BTS. Not done the same mistakes. I think a lot of fans think just because their idol said sorry that's the controversy over but I think we should give it some time to see if they actually learned from their mistakes because sorry doesn't really mean anything. Kinda like the line in butter let me show you because talk is cheap. Oh my god you're a legend. I absolutely love that you quoted butter to support your statement. That's some top tier shit. But yeah I wholeheartedly agree with this opinion. He is really one of the few idols that truly has grown and changed for the better. Yet people love to say but Namjoon every time their fae fucks up. It's totally okay if you couldn't accept his apology and aren't able to forgive him. Because things like this can taint a person's image and really cut deep. But the fact that he has not repeated any of the problematic things he did in the past and has actually educated himself is undeniable. Who hurt Namjoon? Mumeo. He literally co-wrote I know I love you, which is about loving someone that doesn't really love you back like you do them and other songs about tragic love like fake love and the list goes on. He seems like a man who has felt hurt by love so many times. Because artists tend to write the best about subjects they experience. Like how Yugi writes lyrics about depression, self-doubt, and borderline anarchy. Lomeo. People joke that he has a wife and three kids, but he writes more like his wife cheated on him, left him in the dust, and took the kids. LOL. Lomeo that last part made me laugh so hard. But yes, we really don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We don't know about their private lives and maybe Namjoon has been hurt in the past. Maybe his experiences do inspire the tragic love songs he writes. 
we don't know, it's definitely possible, but additionally, I also feel like Namjoon is the type of person who can really empathize with others and put himself in other people's shoes with relative ease. He is an incredible lyric Sid that is able to put himself in scenarios that he may not have personally experienced, and write from the perspective of someone who has, based on the concept of the song. And that's why I think he writes a lot of their songs with such themes and even co-wrote a song like this for another group. I think he even mentioned this in his V-Live, but Bang PD called him to help out with the lyrics even though he knew Namjoon was busy, because he was desperate and they had kind of hit a wall. And so Namjoon agreed to help. So like I can't imagine Bang PD being like hey Namjoon you've been dumped before, why don't you come on over and write this tragic love song for text? May oh well so yeah, I just think he's a really talented lyricist, but you're totally right, he definitely has written quite a lot of tragic love songs Lomeo. Alright guys that's all for this video, I'm really having so much fun with these videos, you all really have such interesting opinions, leave your thoughts below and please stay tuned for the rest of the series, I won't be able to upload as frequently as I have been for around a week, but I'll be back really soon. Please subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.